What's up, True Feelings family? How you guys doing today? If you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal, and I hope you stay. And if you do, welcome to the family. Y'all, I feel like Tyra been sitting on that damn stool for about 10 hours now. I know it's just been through a couple of episodes, but to me, it felt like he's been sitting on that stool for 10 hours, and I wanted him to get off that stool and go get a damn in a damn booth. I just really wanted him to get off that damn chair, because you couldn't even see that goddamn chair. Couldn't even see it. Oh, my God. That's probably why his ass kept grunting so much. You know his ass was uncomfortable sitting in them damn stools. Uh, so Carmela finally walks through that door, baby. She walked through the door with the crunchiest wig on I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if that shit was frozen because it's cold outside and it's got snow and shit. Like, I don't know. You know I'm going to have to say something. You know, I used to wear wigs. We've all worn a bad wig or two. But, honey, that wig, that did not have a part or a damn purpose. It just had nothing. It was stiff. It was too dark. The damn eyelashes was just too damn much. I keep telling ladies, man, stop wearing them big ass eyelashes. Men don't like it. But Tyron, Tyron probably do. She probably could have came in there with an eyelash on her forehead and he wouldn't have gave a shit. This is the person I was in love with for four years. So now he just sitting there and they looking at each other and he keep doing this shit. He turns into Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> I'm like, dude, why are you doing that shit? Say hello, say something. It was just weird. It's like, dude, say something. And she's sitting there looking at his ass like he half crazy. <laughs> Now, he just so happy to see her ass there. He's like, oh, finally, a real girl done showed up. So, anyway, he started telling her about the damn story of how, why he's asking to see her ass. He sat there and told her how he got played and uh, was deceived by a man and is using her damn picture. Now, he in love with her. At first, I was like, no way. And you know he hoping secretly they can hook up and shit. So, she's just looking at him like he crazy. Like, Psst. I can't believe this fool done let this man or somebody just play him like this and he done went, traveled, did all this shit and now we here and he traveled so he to see my know. ass. Did you know this person? And she's like, I don't know that person and I think it's creepy as hell that they're using my picture and shit, <laughs> giving people false hope and love and shit. So no, she didn't know shit about the people. At least that's what she told So he us. gave her that tacky ass candle. That was the ugliest beige candle. Can I don't know what was around that candle. That was a really, really ugly ass candle. <laughs> Then he tried to slide in, wanted to know if she uh, is currently in a relationship. Like, if she, like, she gonna be with him. It's like, Tyrone, she don't want your ass. I just wanna live my life. She think you stupid as hell. But then he gonna tell her, let's travel. You know, you wanna come hang out? You wanna come to my city? I'll take you out. We'll go out to dinner. We'll, you know, we go to mama's house and eat some greens and grits and shit. You know, we just gonna hang out, play Nintendo, drink some beers. That's just what we gonna do. I feel more confident than ever. Now, I tell you this. Tyrant is a damn virgin. Whoever busts his cherry, they gonna have to keep his fluffy ass because he ain't gonna go away. You gotta know, if you give it up to him, that's gonna be the best thing ever in his life. You know how virgins are. It's this first, only, last. He gonna wanna keep it, ain't gonna ever, ever, never, never, ever wanna let it go. So if you give it up to Tyrant, ladies, just know you gonna, he gonna keep his ass. If you break up with him, he gonna be on your porch crying, singing, saying nature with a damn guitar and shit. You ain't gonna be able to get rid of a Tyrant. I didn't like worse the fantasy. <laughs> now, sir, are we done? Okay, I don't need you coming back talking about now you got to find Christian because that's the person you said that, that the, you know, who loves you, who you fell in love with, was the person over the phone who you was talking to. And you're going to look for him, and then after you look for him, you're going to be looking for his mama. And then after that, you're going to be looking for fucking Scooby-Doo. Like, is it, if it over, I need it to be over, you guys. I really do. But you know what? I'm just going to... That. So now you got Sheila over here trying to get top this boy into uh, rebuilding that little Cracker Jack back ass house, okay? Um, $100,000, $1,700 is what it, 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 it um, comes out to, which is not a lot of money, but he did a Tasha K. He said, I ain't got it. He's like, just because I work don't mean I got this shit. He said he make $800 a week, so I don't know how much he paid where he at, but I'm like, why? You can't afford that? You ain't got no damn savings? You ain't got a cool $1,700? He probably don't, because he doesn't spend $1,700 going to China. You see that roast and fetch a fucking hotel, infested hotel he in. So he but now you got the him. contractor man looking at Sheila and looking at this American man like, yeah, she lucky. She got a whole bag of money over here, and homeboy ain't got it like that. And so now Sheila looking kind of funny, like, damn, I thought he was 
was just gonna give it up. He's like, nah, we need to talk about some shit. In fact, I thought it was funny that he told her ass she could get a job to put in on some shit. But then she take sale. his ass to a bar. Now I don't know why she would take him to this type of bar. I don't know. I've never been to the Philippines. Maybe all the bars got a whole bunch of little girls in there with booty shirt shorts on in little tank tops. I do not know. But she cannot expect this man not to look and not see. They're fucking right there. They're all around him. There was no way that he couldn't look. So it's like, what are you trying to do? Like, why are you trying to test him? Like, why? Girl, Statler and Dempsey. For some reason, the couple that I just did not give a shit in the beginning, I couldn't wait for this scene. I couldn't wait that I just fast forward this girl walking through the tulips and shit. I did not give a shit about any of them. So they sitting there, they having their little wine and shit, gazing into each other's eyes, just talking and shit about their little relationship. Then homegirl, is Dempsey the one? D Dipsy Dempsey, is that the one with the black hair? She hauls off and says, I love you. The other girl says she love her back. Then she hit it with the bullshit, but she about to be homeless. She said, you know, when I go back home, I didn't renew my lease. So what I'm going to do and what my plans were was to come here and freeload off you. I'm going to move here and freeload off you. Statler's looking at her like, no, the hell you're not. <laughs> Fuck what you heard. No, you're not. So Statler's like, nah. We don't even know each other like that. You done lied to him about cheating and shit. We, I still need to get to know you before you come. If you want to come here, you get your own damn place. But you ain't coming living with me, sis. I mean, why though? So Dempsey's dumbass is like, well, we're in love. <laughs> so if we're in love, why shouldn't I come live here with you? What would be the point? The point would be you don't have to be in love with somebody to live with them. But you, ain't, <laughs> you can't expect this girl to just jump on board with your ass to come move in. And she don't even know you like that. And then she done found out you done hooked up with your little with your, with your ex. Maybe not hooked up, hooked up. But you've been around her since you've been in England. So she's feeling some kind of way about that. Because you didn't tell her that in the damn beginning. When you guys were talking about cheating and lies and shit, girl. Dempsey doesn't want me to move in with her. Statler need to put that little low crazy ass heifer on a plane and let her go. Because there is something wrong with her. She need to go see a therapist. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even use the word crazy. But there is something wrong with her. It really is. Amanda and Roz. You guys, I think they on here playing because I find it, you know, I just assume that when we came back this time, she would have had an argument. He, she done argued with him over the most petty shit so far. But now he done did some fuck shit, in my opinion. And now you ain't got nothing to say. You ain't gonna talk to him about that whole period shit. You ain't gonna talk to him about his little friend and shit saying your, your damn relationship is a trifling piece of shit. You ain't gonna talk to him about none of that. We come back and they done popped up in the bed and talk about they done had sex. I can't believe they did it. I said, you guys need to knock it off. So you mean to tell me this girl would had you so insecure and all of a sudden now you're not on your period okay you ain't on your period no more now you don't went there and had sex with the boy so you can kind of seal the deal that you don't want which is also weird it's not right so now they take their ass to this damn dracula cave or some shit that they going to spend the weekend and spend the night and do whatever and they started talking about the kids. He figured I didn't gave up my cherry. So now it's time for you to tell the children about me. So we, I got my visa. We need to get to America. I want to get there. And she's looking at him like, no. <laughs> I'm not telling my kids it's too soon. And he's like, why? And I'm sitting there thinking, why are you questioning her about that? It is too soon for those kids. They don't need to know you. You just can't just, she can't just come here and then pop up with your fuck ass. So I agree with her on that. That's the only thing I agree. But she playing with his ass. They playing with us, you guys. That's what I feel. So this is when I got really irritated with her. It gets to the spot where now she's like, you know what? I think I moved too fast. I think that uh, I should have waited a little while before, you know, just, you know, my husband dying and shit. Like, she said all the shit that we said in the beginning of the video. It was like, girl, you knew all this. You knew you wasn't ready for any of this. And for you to just figure this out so soon after just having sex with him, now you're not that much in love with this man and think you done made a mistake. I'm like, knock it off. And then you got his ass over here crying and shit. We all know he want to be an actor. <laughs> And that's why his ass is trying to come to America. So that's what he does. I, it was just bullshit to me. And then last but least, then you got Cleo and Christian. Christian is still trying to gaslight the shit out of this girl and trying to convince her that um, the reason he didn't want to 
talk about their sex life or, or you know them having sex is still to protect her thinking maybe she didn't want to put it out there that soon i'm like she's a trans woman they will they that's the one thing they want people to know is that they're in a relationship and you were supposed to be a straight guy like i said pick your damn let up so he's still trying to gaslight the shit out of her because yeah i was trying to avoid a situation like this and it's like come on girl just let him go because he's full of shit now he just been outed i don't know it felt real to me um either they're really really good actors but he looked really stressed out like damn everybody know what i did my parents know what i did did you not think they was going to tell us here on the damn tlc they gonna tell maybe he thought they was gonna edge that out the damn scene it's like nobody they gonna tell you had sex with her and now we all know you did you sat there and you lied to that girl and then you try to make it like it was her fault. But I didn't, not in my mind. You're an asshole. Now, in his dub mind, he think they done worked everything out and now they can uh, trust each other a little bit better. It's like Cleo ain't trusting your ass because at the end of the day, you lied. You lied to the producers. You could tell her whatever you want, but she is not going for that shit at all. She's not, and no, neither are we. But you created this situation. Neither are we. Um, if anybody's storyline I believe in on this um, season, it would be Cleo and, and, and Christian, you know, out of all the couples. Tell me in the comments, who do you think storyline is, you know, somewhat believable? For me, it's Cleo and Christian. Um, everybody else is, is, is kind of playing. And Sheila and David, they're on my top two of the couples. Everybody else, I'm kind of side-eyeing. You know, I didn't give a shit about Gina and them guys. I don't care what they're going through. They get on my nerve. Anyway, see you guys with something else later on. Don't be an asshole, y'all. Bye. <laughs>